I have to admit, I'm probably going to mix my coffee that same way next time I get a chance with one of my big mugs. <laughs> Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural Season 15, Season 14, Episode 15. Ooh, it was a bit rough, admittedly. Now, if any of you guys saw my review for the last episode, that was one of the worst episodes of this season. It was horrible. This one, despite being a, f a filler episode, actually had a good filler story until its end. The beginning of the episode doesn't start off too well, however, because it's got Sam having these PTSD flashbacks of all these dead alternate universe hunter people and you don't give a shit andrew dab literally used these people as plot devices they were not characters they were literal plot devices he's trying to make sam care therefore you care about all these dead people i couldn't give the single faintest fuck the fact that they're dead bullshit and the fact that they used their death as a mean of sam being unhappy it's just the fucker is seen far worse, so this is just stupid. However, when we go to this random little town that's reliving the 50s and there's these weird people's heads blowing up, it's actually kind of a funny little mystery because Sam gets taken in by one of them and he kind of falls under the spell. And it's all cast. It's really just all cast from here on out. Uh, there's a little bit of story on the side with Sam, or sorry, with Dean and Jack going to Donatello. I always like when Donatello, I don't know how they keep on bringing this character back and I'm not upset because he literally, I thought he's died or been killed off like four times by now, but he's still actually a pretty interesting character. So to see him be used in this sense of a relation for Jack to figure out what it's like to have no soul, I actually didn't mind that. And again, the coffee thing, that was actually kind of cool and just using that as a means of kind of a description of what it's like to have no soul. I thought that was actually not too bad. There was this little snake that they kept on appearing to. Uh, the snake is used, but it's not really there. However, going back to 50s creepy land, it actually has a pretty cool little uh, theme throughout it. There's funny jokes, there's some funny material, and then Dad was like, oh, how do I explain this? Witches? Oh, that's too hard to write. Oh, uh, a spell? Oh, that's too hard to write. Oh, uh, I got it. Let's use a person who has psychic powers. And somehow their child has psychic powers too. Oh, oh, oh I'll be good. What a fucking idiot. That plot point is very, very badly written. Just so shoved in. So shoved in. Uh, I guess, I don't know, it's, it's the worst part of the episode by far. They come back to the hideout and they find that Jack sends the snake up to heaven. And <laughs> Cassiel's like, oh no. So I, I don't know, like, maybe they could make Jack a villain? I always thought this was an idea that they were going to do with him when they first introduced him. And considering Dab has nowhere to go now because he wrote off his villain in a fucking filler episode. Honestly, I don't know because I can't think as stupid as Dab does. I can't think that dumb. I cannot think that dumb to figure out how this episode is going to go. It's not a really stellar episode. The only part you'll really remember is just the funny little bits with Castiel kind of figuring out what the hell's going on. So, yeah, double hockey sticks. I'm going to give this episode a 3 out of 7. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked this review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. You're probably wondering who I am. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural. Or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.